It's been just about a month since the MV Fair chance overturned off Monos Island. This dreaded journey to St. Vincent took the lives of four persons and one crew member, the captain, Dexter Chance, still missing. The operations turned from rescue to recovery with four bodies salvaged from the vessel two weeks ago. The vessel is now floating off the coast of Chagaramas. One of the survivors, Jonel McIntosh, returned to Trinidad and Tobago after leaving to continue the search for his captain. He shares his displeasure with the authorities. They don't even have a search on the vessel. They didn't have a search to say in case the captain would have been back on the vessel by mistake. And it's hurt me to see the vessel is here. We get everybody and the main person of the vessel is missing, which is the captain. And the guys... Imagine we have a look outside when the boat was rolled over the coast guard said they were guarding. And up now we cannot find the captain. If you were guarding this vessel, how the captain could have get out the vessel without nobody seeing his float or come on. The bodies of Eric Calise, Owen Prescott, and Devon Celestine were recovered last week. But McIntosh says the authorities did not search the vessel and they are now faced with this task. There is places I cannot access on the vessel still, so we're trying to make a little search just to see if, can, if the captain is there. We still are searching for the captain. If you look, there is things that we're just trying to go through, eventually put them on the deck just to see, make clearance. Well, at, look at the kitchen there still. Yeah, we're looking at the, um, the kitchen room. We're looking to go in inside there and see if we can see the captain anyway, because the Coast Guard did not search. They came, and what they did, they go and who they see, they just took them off. He gives a tour to show the areas of the vessel still blocked. The access to the kitchen is still blocked. You can have a look. Look at the access to the kitchen. It's still blocked. To the galley, it's still blocked in. The coast guard didn't even come in there. We don't even know as yet if the captain is here. The bodies of the three men are expected to be cremated and returned to St. Vincent and the Grenada. Mark Inter says returning to the vessel is heartbreaking as he replays the tragic moment. He says he had to return to ensure everyone's body was found. I came back because the boat flew to identify those bodies. Yeah, because there wasn't no one around to identify those bodies. Yeah, so he got some family here, but they wouldn't know the next guy because some of the guys with locks were missing. So they look different. And you know, I could identify because he's my crew member from the last color of uniform they had on and the clothes. So I could identify those bodies. The crew and others are expected to continue clearing the vessel hoping to find the last crew member. Otto Carrington, CNC3 News.